Very good. Well, hi, friends. Doc South here. Um, I've been working on, um, and actually, this is kind of fun to do. I suggest you try it. Go back and uh, kind of remember some of your, oh gosh, your your earliest memories. Yeah, it's kind of fun to do. You know, back when you were a kid. You know, go uh, see. It, it's I, for me. I don't know. I'm finding it really fascinating to just kind of sit and try to just relax and go back and see uh, what I can. Uh, you know, what I can gather up out of, it's, it's of course, most of this stuff, especially if you're uh, older and dirt like me, is kind of, uh, well, it's a lot of, yeah, it's a lot of water over the old dam, shall we say. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and it's, um, it, it, so it's hard to do, but once you do, it's kind of, you'd be surprised how some of these stories do uh, stick. And, uh, gee, I had one. I remember now, uh, my folks, let's see, if I rec well, I, I do know, my father worked on the road uh, selling. He, he had a territory up in New York State, so he was often gone, you know, uh, uh, for a, you know, a few days uh, doing his thing, and then he'd come home, and <coughs> quite often, I believe what he sold was silverware, sold silverware. Uh, to, uh, you know, wholesale to jewelry stores and such. And I guess, uh, you know, department stores, that kind of thing. Um, and I, I guess he did okay doing it, I, from what I gather. Well, he, he was a natural-born salesman. And uh, so he, uh, he was very, very good at that kind of thing. Um, so it was probably something he was digging. I'm sure it beat flying fighter planes. Uh, those, those could be a little, uh, yeah, those could be a little rough. Um, uh, even though he didn't get into combat still, the darn, uh, th those planes, yeah, they, they did not forgive. Okay. In, in any case though, uh, the war was over, the, you know, all the, a lot of the, uh, soldiers and sailors and airmen were home and they all, they all found themselves a woman. <laughs> and, well, pretty soon there's a, a billion of us baby boomers. And uh, I remember, yeah, we lived uh, in, in a town near Dover, New Jersey. It's known, the area is known as Mine Hill. Never did see the mine. I guess there must be one up there somewhere. I think what they mined was uh, iron. I think there was iron somewhere in them that are hills. Now it's all developments and highways and you know malls and stuff. But back then it was country, and I remember, yeah, one day I guess my father was home for the weekend, and uh, we all went out for a walk. I remember thinking how cool that was. I do. I remember it to this minute. Uh, we we're just walking. We we're gonna basically. I I guess we we're gonna walk around the block. Um, in fact, I don't think that area is still built up that much. I'm going to have to go back there and check near where our house was. Um, it was kind of an, uh, an early development. And uh, not a big house, you know, the, that we lived in, but nice enough. It, it, was, it was great. But I remember, yeah, we, we left the house and we walked, um, we walked out the front. And I'm, I'm walking. Uh, well, the folks are kind of walking together. And, uh, you know, uh, they're holding hands. Mom was holding hands with me, you know, and we're, we're kind of just walking up the street, diddy bop, and saying hi to folks. We saw the uh, Zanellis <laughs> that were up, uh, they were neighbors, lived up the hill a little from us. And uh, Mr. Zanelli had this uh, wonderful train set. Uh, and it was, he, he did, it was what I can remember of it, I won't get into it now, but it was those big Lionel model trains with the, the track that was uh, not HO. It was the track that was about the the width. Yeah, the track was about as the width of my hand here. Big cars. They weighed a lot. I remember them feeling, oh, man, you know, four or five pounds. They really had some heft to them. And he had that all in his basement, all very nicely decorated control panels and stuff. Now and then he'd let me, uh, you know, uh, run one. Yeah, but uh, that wasn't that day. But we went past the Zanellis. Actually, I think he was uh, mayor of Dover, New Jersey for a while too. I think he was. Whether he was then, I don't know. But he was, he was a pretty good guy. He had a daughter named, uh, let's see, Kathy. 
<clears throat> who seemed like such an older woman. Uh, of course, well, she was probably eight. <laughs> It's funny as a kid, an eight-year-old, as a grown-up, an eight-year-old, a ah, kid. When you're uh, when you're three years old, an eight-year-old seems like you know it's uh, you know one of your aunts. Yeah, it, isn't it funny how that yeah, how that happens. But anyway, so we go we go past the Zanelli's house, say hi, Mr. Zanelli's. I don't know, trimming a bush or some such thing. Heaven knows. Um, <clears throat> Kathy's out in the yard. I don't know, messing around on a tricycle or something. And, um, and, uh, or maybe learning to ride her bike. And, uh, we, we, we hang a right and we go down a, a dirt road. Uh, yeah, it wasn't quite paved yet. Uh, I believe that's the case. And, uh, you know, it's all shady and it's warm and we're walking and talking and stuff. The folks are, I guess, making sweet talk and stuff. And, uh, we're, uh, me, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just walking, looking around. I found a rock or two to throw. You know, father said, don't throw him so near someone's car and, all, you know, all that baloney. And um, I think he showed me how you could skip a rock. You know, if you had a flat one, you could fl skip it along the road. He says, wait till we get near a stream someday. Remind me, I'll show you, skip them in the water. I said, oh, cool. You know, so I have something to look forward to. And uh, we were walking down that, just a lot of shrubbery and stuff and then there was a road, there was a dirt road off to the right, and we walked down that. And it was a nice sunny day. Uh, we were, uh, there was like weeds all over the place. All, you know, all these uh, bushes and weeds. And uh, again, an area that must have been uh, a field at one time. Now it's starting to get overgrown. And we're walking downhill. And uh, by this time, I had uh, more of my way in between the folks. Yeah. <laughs> Enough of them holding hands. They're going to hold hands with me. So I grab my father's hand. I got my father's hand. I got mom's hand. And I'm walking, holding hands with my folks. I can, I can still, I can, st I can almost feel their hands. It's amazing. And, and we're walking. And all of a sudden, I look ahead. And I don't know if the folks saw it, but I saw it. There was a, a big black snake in the road. Now, I say big, I mean, the snake may have been this big, but, you know, when I, uh, to a kid, actually, I think it was bigger. If I recall right, that snake was probably two to three foot long, uh, maybe a, an inch in diameter thickness. I don't, I certainly wasn't poisonous, but, you know, when you're a kid, every snake's a cobra, and, you know, you're going to die if it, and I holler, snake, snake, and uh, well, they're, they're still walking, and I, snake, snake, and they said, watch, watch what we're going to do. They said, don't be afraid, here we go, and they both uh, grabbed, uh, they had my hands already, and they just lifted me over the snake, yeah, over the snake and down on the other, you know, once we were a few feet away, uh, put me back down on the ground. And uh, my father said, turn around, look, see, you scared that snake. He's running, uh, he's slithering off into the other side of the weeds. Ah, he wouldn't have hurt you. That's not a poisonous snake. And I said, whoa. And I don't know, I can still feel the folks lifting me over the snake. And then we continued on our walk. I guess ran into some more neighbors. Maybe, uh, I don't know, Jackie McCoy might have been playing on one of the side streets there, and I hollered if I could go play with Jackie. We are going to throw rocks at a mailbox or something. I don't know. We had some kind of big plans. Dirt bombs. We were probably going to throw dirt bombs at each other. And, um, well, it was okay to throw dirt bombs. Yeah. You just weren't supposed to throw them in someone's face. But I remember, though, to this minute, the folks lifting me over that snake. Huh? Yeah, and, and how cool it was to look down and see my feet dangling over the snake, kicking a little, and, uh, and down on the other side. And how many times, how many times in the future did the folks lift me over a quote-unquote snake one way or another? Huh? Either with good advice or my father slipping me a few bucks or a, a kind word here and there. I got to say, I was pretty cool. Yeah, I had good folks. Yeah, and that's I guess my uh, one of my uh, earliest of memories. I I couldn't have been much more than three, but I knew uh, um, I knew that as they lifted me over that snake, I, yeah, life is good. Anyway, hopefully you've had similar experiences. Anyway, it's fun to try to think them out and uh, uh, recall them. Write them down a little too, so you don't go forgetting them. Okay, or do a video.
yeah, easy enough to do. Anyway, friends, that's enough for now. Uh, God bless, and uh, we'll see you later. Bye now.